If you go back to our ingestion pipeline, you can also see that we have a certain, uh, subset of business rules that we're validating against. Uh, and what's nice about this is that you can imagine that each of these schools have different business rules, right? They might have different ways that they format the teacher ID. They might have different ways that they format the school uh, class ID, for example. Um, all of these things are very specific to, uh, to, um, to each individual system, each individual school or data source, right? Uh, so you can imagine that the validator just takes a look at null records. That's pretty basic across the bo uh, board, but these business rules have to change based upon what source we're looking at. Um, and so how do we handle this, right? How do we scale up our data ingestion pipeline as we scale up, um, as we scale up the number of sources that we're pulling in from, right? And that is basically, instead of having validation rules here listed explicitly, what we're doing is we're externalizing the business uh, rules here. So we're taking a look at a file that sits uh, within our data platform. Uh, and, and, and we have a file sort of for each individual school, right? So depending on what school it is, this variable essentially changes, right? And it allows you to sort of change the validation rules on uh, per, per individual source system. So that's great in that you can sort of scale up uh, and have more and more complex business rules for each individual system, each individual uh, even record type, right? Because you can imagine, even if you're talking about one school, in this case, Springfield Middle School, uh, the validation and business rules for classes versus students and teachers, right, is going to be completely different. And so you can sort of see that exact uh, validation file. It kind of sits out here. In this case, we're taking a look at classes. Um, and so, you know, you can see here that we have a variable that is called a validation file, and that kind of has information about each individual source system and each of their file types. So that allows you to sort of scale out your solution um, and then sort of report on that. 